Hallo, je ziet VHS op tijd om de 6000 of zo, uh, of de month. Uh, just VHS, de samen van multivormelijk maatstroom was. Het is van de Just VHS, ik had uh, 12, I think, 12, uh, no 11. Voor het 12. Ja, yeah, dit is definitely het 12, waar de fucks die ervan kan hangen. In van de van, right, uh, 12 safe door rentals, so I guess it's there. First one is a Don the Dragon Wilson in Lion Strike. Who takes his kickboxing skills to limits apparently, which is a Columbia Tri-Star Home video release, but for some reason the logo looks a bit weird on all sides of the box. The box isn't actually shaped properly. And it's got a weird font on the back, and for some reason the tape doesn't have the logo on it for some reason. Or the hologram one for that matter, but it's except the hologram on the tape. Standard label, don't get any end label with it, I don't think so. Comes in the boss case, which is nice. Next up, the Hillside Strangler, which is a fairly recent tape from uh, 2004, High Flyers Video Distribution. It contains strong sexualized violence and very strong language, so it sounds good to me. So, Tartan Films release, all Tartan Films released through High Flyers and Vento Video, and uh, all Optimum Films were as well, actually. Next one, it's an RCA Columbia Pictures International video, Blind Date, with uh, Bruce Willis and Kim Basinger. Uh, I don't know why Bruce Willis' name is higher, like it, it's higher there, and it's also higher in the credits, which is a bit weird. Uh, it's a Tri Star Pictures film from yeah, 1988, well, filmed from 1987. Comes in the bus case, of course. All the RCA Columbia unboxings the And can't get tape back in. No nope, problem. I'm going to do it. No, it didn't sound well. For fuck's sake. There you go. Next up, Novarce Columbia. Uh, Eat a bowl of tea. Weirdest name for a film ever. Uh, this is from 1990. It's fairly later tape. Comes in the bus case again. Novarce Columbia embossing. Yeah, there's a logo there, but you can't really see it very well because for some reason it's clear, I don't know why. And loads of rental stickers. Please note, something with the content of this cassette will, will render, the li render the user liable to prosecution. I'll bear that in mind. Next up, Touchstone Home Video, The 13th Warrior, Antonio Banderas. I'm not sure about you, this is from. I've only just come back with all these tapes, so I haven't actually checked them all yet, so I'm not sure about details. Comes with the hologram, comes with the Buena Vista Castle, which you can't see there, but it, it is there. Advert for Instinct at the bottom, I think that is anyway. Barcode. For some reason there's a load of glue residue on that, which is a bit shit. Next up, 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment release. The White Man's Burden. 3 for 6 quid, except I've had 25p for us, that's wrong. It's a Fox, Fox Guild release. Uh, from. This is from. 1997. The tape comes with a hologram. Loads of 15 stickers. But there's no point in putting it there, is there? Because it literally says there. And explanation on the back. Comes in the bossed case, Fox Guild. Well. Next up, Random Hearts, which is in a perfect world they never would have met. Sounds dramatic. Comes with quality guarantee for one year or we will exchange it. Good deal. Columbia Tri Star Home video release uh, from 2000. And obviously the box was the tape. Be, be a friend, rewind when you reach the end. And if this label is broken, you must purchase this video, and it is, so that's probably why they had to buy it. Comes with an end label with all that stuff on it, and Columbia tape label. Next up, Power Play, the Jackie Presser story, the two story, from the One Home Video. This is a TV movie from HBO, and this is a 1992, no, 1993 release. With the hologram, which is a bit damaged, the security seal, and loads of stickers, one home video scratch sticker.
Next up, MGMUA Home Video, Fulmer and Louise. It was hologram there, which is a tape from 1992. MGMUA hologram and one home video hologram, which is really damaged. And sticker and stuff on the side. Next up, Heat with a CRC one to watch, even though it's not a CRC tape for some reason. The one home video tape with a Al Pacino, Val Kilmer, Michael Mann film, which is a very good film if you haven't seen it. And I was actually looking for this tape for a while, but then I just forgot about it and gave up, and I've actually found it properly. Comes a hologram, I don't really stick it on or anything. Next up, Space Jam, uh, one home video tape of course, from 1997 I think this is, yep. Uh, one above his family entertainment tape. End label, which is on the retail. And finally, we have a Columbia Toy Store home entertainment tape, La Pox du Salons, uh, that was the worst French accent we've ever done. Uh, the film is in French, it does have English subtitles. Uh, as it says down there, no need to put that sticker on. And this has got writing all over it from Video Shop in Chester, apparently. It's withdrawn for sale. And you get a name labeled BBFC stuff on it. So that's all the tapes, so see you next time.